So working memory is, is what you use when you should remember what to do next. For example, walk from this room to the other room uh, to retrieve something. And, and we use it all the time to keep relevant information in mind and, and remember what to focus on. Uh, so ch children with um, low working memory, uh, they are impaired on uh, a lot of academic skills like you know, mathematics and, and reading comprehension. So one of the implications um, is that um, if you know about working memory, you can identify the situations that are memory demanding and there are particular teaching strategies to teach uh, children with low working memory. Uh, for example, using shorter instructions or memory aids so that they can actually learn uh, despite uh, their, their low working memory. We can also identify um, different environmental factors that are important, such as stress uh, and, and distractions that are um, particularly um, harmful uh, for children with low working memory. And then we can look at the, these positive effects, like uh, uh, the enrichment effect that I'm talking about, the, um, the exercise, and also training of working memory, something that we've done research on. So this research generally shows that you can improve your working memory by training, uh, and, and generally, probably, by doing um, activities that are demanding in terms of attention and working memory where you push yourself to the limit and one example uh, that's been documented is for example playing a, a musical instrument which is very uh, attention demanding uh, and where you actually can see that this improves uh, children's working memory and, and reasoning ability.